Hi, welcome back to Mike's Method of Playing Guitar. This is lesson five. In the last lesson, you learned how to play Achy Breaky Heart using two open chords, the E and the A. At the end of the lesson, we also learned the D chord. So you should know by now the E, the A, and the D chord. Now it's going to take you a little while to learn how to switch between the chords, so I thought for this lesson we'll go back use the one finger method and we'll learn another song. So for this week you can keep practice switching chords and you'll have another song to practice and have fun with. This song is called Why Don't You Get a Job by The Offspring. There are two different versions of this song. One has clean lyrics and one has dirty lyrics. So when you YouTube it to play along with it, just make sure you pick the one with clean lyrics unless you want to hear curse words. Uh, that's your your prerogative. Okay, let's get started. Okay, in our past songs, we've used the second fret, the seventh fret, and the ninth fret. For this song, we are going to start on the tenth fret. We're going to move to the third fret, and we're also going to use the fifth fret. And again, we're only going to do downstrokes because right now you're just learning to play guitar, and downstrokes are easy. Okay, for you, those of you that have heard this song before, you'll know that it's distorted a little bit. Let's talk about distortion. The way to do distortion if you don't have a pedal is to tune your, turn your guitar's volume knob all the way up and turn your amplifier way down. That will distort it because it will make your pickups really hot. Now if you want a clean sound, you turn down the volume on your guitar and turn up the volume on the amp and it will be less distorted. Since we want a dirty sound, we turn up the volume on the guitar as loud as we can and we turn down the volume on the amp. If you have a distortion pedal, you can just use a distortion pedal. All right, so for this song, we're gonna start on the 10th fret. We are only going to hit the uh, fourth, third, and second string. There we go. And we're not gonna hit the bottom string, we're not gonna hit the top two strings, and we're gonna do downstrokes only because downstrokes are easy, right? So we're gonna do it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we're going to go to the 3rd fret and do it 8 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go back to the 10th fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go to the 5th fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, now the second part of the verse goes like this. Start on the 10th fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go to the third fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go back to the tenth fret for four instead of eight. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. Then to the fifth fret. One, two, three, four. And then back to the tenth fret for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you didn't catch that, watch it again. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to play this to the backing track slowly. Here we go. We're going to start on the 10th fret. Friends got a girlfriend, man, he hates that chick. He tells me every day. He says, man, I really gotta lose that chick in the worst kind of way. Again, she sits on her buddy, works his hands to the bone to get her money every payday. But she wants more than narrow just to stay at home. Well, my friend, you gotta say. All right, let's do that a little faster. On the 10th. My friend's got a girlfriend and he hates that chick He tells me every day He says, man, I really gotta lose that chick In the worst kind of way When she sits on her buddy, works his hands to the phone They get her money every day But she wants more than narrow just to stay at Okay, now we're going to do the chorus, and it's the same chord progression for the chorus, we're just going to sing different words on top of it. So we're going to do this at full speed, since it's the same progression. Here we go. Say no way, say no way, say no way. Nah, no, why don't you get a job? I won't pay, I won't pay, I won't pay. Nah, no, why don't you get a job? 
Okay, so let's do the bridge now. The bridge is a little bit different. We start on the third fret, we go to the tenth fret, we go back to the third fret, then we go all the way up to the twelfth fret, and then back to the fifth fret. So we're gonna go three, ten, three, twelve, five, ten. Woo! Here we go. We're gonna do it to the backing track. Guess it ain't easy doing nothing at all. Oh yeah. A hey man, a free ride just won't come along. Every day, let me tell you about my other friend. Now my friend's got a girlfriend. Okay, so there's two guitars uh, in this song, and they're doing two different things. One of them's kind of doing what I just showed you, which is really easy, and you can play the entire song this way if you want to. But once you've mastered this and you want to do something just a little bit different, you can do what the second guitar does. He plays the exact same patterns that I just showed you, but he does one thing differently. He uses upstrokes instead of downstrokes. This is kind of hard to do, so if you want to practice it, go ahead. If you can't get it, don't feel bad, just play it the other way I showed you. But for those of you that need a little bit more, here's something else you can do. Okay, so upstrokes, this is how it works. Your hand's going to go down and up. You still only want to hit the strings uh, that we talked about when you're playing the chord. I only muted them just to show you what your hand does. Now, even though you're going down and up, you only want to hear the upstrokes, okay? So what you do is on the downstroke, you release a little bit of tension with your hand, so it kind of mutes the strings like in could I say, should I stay or should I go now. So on the down, you release it, and on the up, you push your finger down. So every down, release, up, is together. So it goes. Down, push it down, push it down, push it down, push it down. Okay, you can just do it with the same progression, and it sounds like this. My friend's got a girlfriend, and he hates that chick. Do it either way you want to do it, with the upstrokes or the downstrokes. It's just two different ways of doing the same song. Play with both of them. Have some fun with it. If it's frustrating, then go back to the easy way. All right, it's just that easy. So next week, come back knowing your three chords, E, A, and D. Be able to switch through them in every which combination that you can, and we will learn an actual song using the three open chords in that way. I hope you've had a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. Bye.